So the topic for this video is what is SAP HANA? I'm going to give you an overview on SAP HANA. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. So in short, SAP HANA is an in-memory database solution from SAP AG company. You can take my in-memory database video to find out more on this topic. So in short, in-memory database is very fast as compared to the traditional database, about 10 times faster because it keeps all the data in the memory. So when we talk about SAP HANA, we are talking about the components of SAP HANA that you can see on the screen. So the SAP AG offers these pieces of software under the umbrella of SAP HANA. So the main component is the database itself. It's an in-memory database. It's called SAP HANA DB. Then we have SAP HANA Studio component, which refers to the modeling tools offered by SAP to model the data for SAP HANA DB. SAP also offers SAP HANA appliance. So the term computer appliance is used for the marriage of the hardware and the software especially tuned for that hardware. So there are certified vendors that offer hardware on which SAP HANA software could be installed. So the appliance would be that special hardware from those certified soft, uh, vendors and SAP HANA software installed and tuned on top of that hardware. So that would be an appliance. So the SAP HANA software is also available on a cloud infrastructure known as SAP HANA Application Cloud. For more details on the cloud infrastructure, you can take my other videos. For now, understand that SAP HANA is also available as a service on the cloud infrastructure that client can use on need basis. So we understand that in-memory database like SAP HANA is very fast as compared to the traditional databases. So where does all this uh, performance come from? So SAP HANA leverages these available uh, pieces of technologies to achieve the performance. Low cost main memory that we called RAM, random access memory. So it leverages RAM and also it leverages multi-call processors. And finally solid state drives. Solid state drives have become very popular these days. They don't have spinning mechanism as such in them, so data is accessible uh, almost immediately. They are obviously more expensive than the uh, traditional drives. Now keep in mind that SAP HANA database, which is an in-memory database, could be used for any kind of application, be it OLTP application, known as online transaction processing, uh, system or OLAP application known as online analytical processing system. Okay, uh, If you want to find out more on OLTP and OLAP systems, uh, you can take my other videos on these topics. So in short, online transaction processing systems are more geared towards operations and users are using this system to enter day-to-day -day data. You purchase something from the Walmart, it goes uh, in the OLTP system to create the record. Uh, so day-to-day -day activity is handled by OLTP system. So they require, um, they require a database where updates or inserts could happen uh, very fast and they're not really tuned where we can do uh, deep queries, uh, finding out the trends and what's going on and so on. So OLAP applications are more geared towards managers where they want to query the trends and, and do the analysis and they won't be doing lots of inserts they'll be doing the query. So uh, two different kind of uh, systems, two different kind of audience, two different kind of uh, tuning required for both kind of systems. So this is really uh, in short the difference between the two. So SAP HANA uh, in-memory database could be used for either of the two applications. Also keep in mind that SAP HANA database offers query processing environment for structured databases like two-dimension tables where data is residing in two-dimension tables 
a very structured and less structured uh, data is also uh, handled by SAP HANA database like text and graphs and so on okay so uh, it could be used for either of the two kinds keep in mind that both OLAP and OLTP are structured systems so to be an asset compliant is a very important uh, attribute of a database so SAP HANA database is 100% asset compli compliant what is asset compliance okay uh, for details you can take my other videos but for now asset compliance guarantees reliability of database transactions so four attributes are um, covered under this broad term asset compliance atomosity consistency isolation and durability these are the qualities of an asset compliant database and SAP HANA database offers all these qualities another misconception that prevails is that HANA is some kind of an acronym it's a name it's not an acronym it doesn't stand for anything like high performance and electrical appliance or anything like that okay just a name here's a quick history the service pack 0 was released on 20th November 2010 service pack 1 was released on 20th June 2011 service pack 2 was released on 27th June 2011 and then we had service pack 3 also known as 1.5 released on 7th November 2011 so we understand that in memory database keeps all the data in the random access memory so that it's available immediately so what kind of size is supported by SAP HANA in early stages SAP HANA would use up to one terabyte RAM and it keeps data in a compressed format so up to five terabyte of uncompressed data could go in in one terabyte RAM in a compressed format so uh, it's about five times then in 2011 SAP HANA could be used with up to 8 terabyte of RAM and it would support 40 terabyte of uncompressed data and in 2012 SAP HANA would support up to 100 terabytes of RAM so that means a lot of data so this setting is available on IBM powered devices keep in mind that SAP AG company offers more than one database so SAP HANA is one of the many databases offered by SAP AG as you can see on the screen SAP HANA is one Max DB Sybase IQ Sybase ASE SQL Anywhere so these are all the offerings from SAP AG on top of that SAP could resell other vendor databases as well DB2 from IBM, Oracle Database from Oracle Corporation and SQL Server from Microsoft Corporation for example so what about the competition as already explained SAP HANA database could be offered as an appliance uh, that means it's installed on a certified hardware from one of the certified vendors now as an appliance it is in competition with uh, with the vendors and their products as you can see on the screen so Microsoft parallel data warehouse from Microsoft active enterprise data warehouse from Teradata and Exadata database machine from Oracle Excelitex in-memory machine from Oracle Greenplum data computing appliance from EMC Niteza data warehouse ap appliance from IBM Vertica analytics platform from HP so these are some of the competitors as an in-memory database itself it's in competition with other in-memory databases so we have Cognito analytical platform from Cognito we have solid DB from IBM times 10 from Oracle Terracotta big memory from software AG manufacturer from 
many fact. As already explained earlier, SAP HANA is available as an appliance, meaning SAP HANA and other peripheral components are installed on a certified hardware. So these are the vendors that offer certified hardware on which SAP HANA and components could be installed. Okay, So we have Cisco, Dell, Fujitsu, Hitachi, HP, IBM, and NEC.